Good morning members. I've been asked to do a video on how to move your bobbin over um, a few stitches and how to carry it. Now in this particular graph I'm doing the only reason that I'm carrying it is because the section of the graph that I'm doing almost is like a um, spot on a cow. It's going to be a big large black blob for better uh, wording. Um, for my last stitch what I've done is I've gone and down and I've cast on as many as I needed and I've gone under the two vertical bars to do the color change that we teach in the group. Now this black bobbin here I need to move over about 10 stitches and I would not do this unless the bobbins are all going to connect like uh, the blob that I'm telling you about. Otherwise, it's going to look terrible. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this yarn over. and see if I can do this all in the camera angle. Okay, now we're going to go under this vertical bar and the one next to it because we're doing the color change. And we're going to yarn over and pull that color through. Now, what we're going to have is this big strand. You want to make sure, and this is hard doing it in the camera, you want to make sure that this strand, when you, you can pull your project a little bit, you want it loose. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus in on that. You want it loose, but you don't want it too loose. You want it so that if someone's under the blanket and they stretch, they're not going to rip it, but you don't want it so loose that it's going to hang out the back. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my working yarn, and I've done the two for the color change. I'm going to tighten this bobbin just a pinch. And now we're going to work the second vertical bar again. And I'm going to go under the tail, this strand that's in the back. Then I'm going to work the next one, and I'm going to go over that. And then I'm going to work the next one and go under it. And then over it. And then for this last one, I'm going to go under it. Then I'm going to continue to work my stitches across because in the back I have worked under it and over it. And this, um, looks a little funky but you'll be able to see the bumps on the back um, from where you picked up the white like any other one and this is from where we did the color change but that's the cleanest method I've found and able to carry your bobbins over and again you're going to tighten up these on your way back through and it's going to tighten up that one little white bump and then, like I said, you're just going to continue to cast on as many of that color as you need. And that strand is locked in in the bottom. So I hope that answers the questions that we had about how to move your bobbin over. Um, and if there's any more questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.